Hi, this is a KISS tech support video. Today we're going to do a beginner's guide to cleaning up any viruses you might have on your system and protecting yourself from any viruses in the future. So if you're not already there, if you're watching this on YouTube or some other video site, go ahead and go to KISSTechSupport.com so you can follow along and get all the files you need, everything from this site, KISSTechSupport.com. If you look at the green bar at the top, you'll see Easy Do It Yourself. If you click that link, and you come down the page a bit, you'll see Virus Cleaning and Protection. So let's go there. And we'll scroll down the page, and it's a step-by-step -step process to, to finish this up. The first thing you're going to want to pay attention to is whether or not you can risk losing files off your computer. So when you do a virus cleanup, there is a potential. It doesn't always happen, but there's a potential that and cleaning out the virus that you could damage your Windows system and not be able to get back in and then make it a real hassle trying to get your files back. So if you have important files, it's imperative that you back them up and before you go ahead with this. Now there are some backup solutions. There's a link here. I'm going to do a, a backup tutorial at some point soon. For now, there's a link right now. Um, goes to CNET.com with a really simple backup tutorial to give you some ideas about how you might go about it. Also there's a couple of solutions here. Mosey.com will do a backup for you, an automatic backup online, which is pretty nice and uh, it's free for up to two gigs and if you want to have unlimited backup space automatically all the time it's $4.95 a month. But even the free might be good to even check that out and see how that works. There's also software that you can get for backing up or you could back up on a CD, a DVD, or even onto an external hard drive. So there's different solutions, but we're going to cover that in another tutorial. Once you are backed up, and the, when you've backed up the important files that you need, then you can go ahead and download the free antivirus software. And this comes from AVG. And click that link and go to the download. And what we want is the free version. That's really all we need. Just keep following the download link. And you'll see it there. Now I've already downloaded, so just save the file somewhere on your computer. You can click Save File and choose a spot. I've cho chosen the desktop from this drop down menu. And you would click Save. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already done it. So once you have it, you'll see a file that looks like this on your desktop. And you open it up. And so once this opens up, what you're going to do is just follow the next buttons. So we'll say next, and we want to say I accept the agreement, and it'll go through the install process. So it's, what it's going to do is just ask you some simple questions, but I'm going to walk you through and make it very easy. And we want to say standard installation which is easy enough. And if your username is not filled out, just put something in there for your username and click Next. And then we'll click Finish. And it'll go through the full install process. And once you have it installed, then you just click OK. Now what happens here is a little screen pops up, congratulations screen for a successful install, and we'll follow these next buttons. Next, AVG free update. Yeah, well let's check for updates and see. And we want to click on internet on this screen, it's asking how it wants how you want it to find the updates, we'll say internet. And found an update, so we'll update. It's very important to always update your antivirus program and we'll have it set up so that it does it automatically. There are new viruses coming out all the time and they update their 
virus list. So it's important that you do your updates. And then you'll see this if the update was successful and you can just click OK. And we'll move on to the next. And this is asking us for maximum security and simplicity a full computer scan is scheduled daily. Here you can change the priority level of the scan. We we'll just say low priority. And if you don't want this running every day, I, I don't actually run it every day because I find it just takes up system resources and slows my computer down at times when I don't want it to be running. So we'll just uncheck that. And if you want it to run and do a daily scan, you can leave it checked. And we'll click Next. And we could scan the computer right now, but we'll just click Next and finish through this process. And we'll click Next again and Continue. And then one more time, what we'll do, we'll see this screen as we're going to check for updates. And we're going to check this little box, don't ask. So it knows now to check the internet. And your program has the latest updates. Lovely. So what we want to do now is to clean out the system, we just click this scan computer button and it'll go through the process and it could take a long time it could take anywhere from an hour to a few hours depending on the system and what it's going to do it's going to show you any of the problems I'm going to stop it and it's going to show you in the box any of the problems it found and then down here there'll be uh, it should be down this area a couple of buttons asking if you want to delete or clean out those files. And you can go ahead and clean them out. Make sure though that positively you have backed up any important information before you go cleaning out your viruses just in case you end up messing up your Windows files. And from here on in this will update automatically and it'll start automatically when Windows starts and protect you and you'll see it down here this little icon by your clock. Now if you want to run a scan at any time you can always just double click this and click here on test center and you can do that scan again so this is the beginners antivirus tutorial thank you for watching kiss tech support